Um, fun fact here as we're loading into the game now, as far as uh, a little bit of a little bit of history, a little bit uh, history with some of these players here. Uh, really tough. And he has to not use his chain. That's true. Yeah. And not bottle up. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> a lot of things need to work out for for come with me there, but uh, he is being patient. I mean, he's he's chilling nearby. He wants to get it, but meanwhile, bottom lane, we do have the actual first blood coming out. Bounty rune. Or was it around that area? And there is a smoke. Is he gonna pop it? He immediately popped it. <sighs> you have a dust puppy. Okay. This he could is be a turn wondering kill. how the hell they knew he was there, <laughs> but he will at least pop. Clarity. Oh, he actually might get away. No. Oh, he missed the crush! And now the turn. Okay, there you get it. He got a raise him close to the tower. Put it there. Oh, middle lane actually. Mid one could go down. The second raise connects. There's a void coming out for the Night Stalker, and down he goes. It is nighttime. Quite good. Because Hedra, oh, like, Ring is two region for, like, almost three times the gold. Oh, it's kind of value. Oh, man, they're trying to make a decision to go in up here, but he chooses to fall back. And now, come with me, it's going to fall as a result of that. Yeah, that was... Juggernaut was going back and forth. He's like, I want to dive with you, bro, but I also don't want to. Not going to get that one there, though. So. Try to use the skin. Is he going to walk into it? Here comes the silence, though, and now Ember Spirit, level 6, but with the silence, of course, unable to use the remnant. And he will go down, so... That was a really good use of her presence is under. That was really cool. Good heads up there from Pro Dota. And, well, 3 to 2 lead. Obviously, they're addressing this Ember Spirit in the middle lane as he's now 0 2 and 0. So, kind of keeping him in check. And it most certainly is working as, oh, they're collapsing on the Coddle right here as a lift coming out from Insania. Throws him down the crush. It did actually hit. That was a pretty far distance. But they do connect. They get the kill on the Coddle. Now they need to run. That's going to be a lot easier said than done. The Black Hole comes out. And there's no stopper despite him being near pop with the damage coming out from Mick A. As Sutter gets pulled back in, the double kill for mid one. But he's being turned on now. The Omni Slash bouncing at the background gets the kill onto him and Puppy. And pop that uh, that goat, that Shadow Walk away and be fine. But, well, numbers wise, that worked out for Pro Dota, looks like. They are. Red's Armlet makes your illusions very strong and it gives you a ton of armor versus the SM, Slonar, and the Juggernaut. Overall, one of the better builds. Especially when you have Caudal. Darkness has fallen as another relocate in, though, actually coming out at Slaughter is going to feel the pain as a result. Yeah, it's not getting pulled on in from Coddle and doing a lot of work in the background. Ember Spirit, he's chasing Insania. Uh, the Rubik will also be illuminated down. Not really getting anything out of it, though. I don't know if Pilot Eye was walking in. He thought he had a chance right there, but now actually Puppy's going to be found. Sitting with the Evans on top. The track is up, though. The Reality Rift pull in. There's a Phantasm. And they got the kill of Shadow Fiend. That's going to be big. A lot of gold going around. Got two illusions. Yeah. And not much that, again, the, the Dire can do to stop it, it seems like, right now. But again, it is nighttime. Puppy, though. Gonna scout out a couple over here. Another dust goes out, though, but it's just out of range. Top lane. Ooh. From the fog. That was a very nice chaos ball. He has a chaos. Ooh, get it right there. Shadow Fiend, though, what does he have? He has a Dragon Lance, and he's working right into a BKB. So feel like he needs the, the combat items here. Ready to fight a top lane, no collapse on. Silence comes out on a Keeper of the Light, but in comes Ember Spirit. The Reality Rift pull back in the background. They will lock down for the kill to Night Stalker. Sodar, come with me. Throws out a crush, but he track just wants to run after no. that. Once again, the Reality Rift pulls him back in. The track hold coming out. Double kill for Puppy. And talk about excelling. They are definitely excelling now. Another one of those games where Slaughter is not going to be able to get blink for a long time. Yeah. Definitely having trouble with that. Shadow Fiend, he wants to make a play up here. They would love to kill Chaos Knight. Now comes across face like, all right, you want to fight? Let's fight, baby. The illusions come out with the Phantasm. There goes the Requiem of Souls, but down goes Slaughter pretty quickly. MP, he's going to be lifted up, though. You see Enigma running in. He has a black hole ready to go, but it's going to be tough to get a good one off right there. Chaos Knight finally picked out. That's a nice bounty coming out for the other side, being Night Stalker, and the chase continues. Keizu, again, he has that black hole. <laughs> Could set up a turn for perhaps if the support comes in, but no, he's going to be silenced, and he will be nuked down with the Rays. Oh, Dota, that's a good victory for them. That was bad communication from Team Yeah, it's obviously great for a hero like this, too. It's kind of being sneaky in the in the back lines here and trying to amp that damage up for quick kills or you know, even help teammates if it calls for it. So Definitely seems like overall a great tool, and I know it did get some buffs recently, too. So Yeah, that item is so much value now. Oh, my goodness. I actually think that item is very good. Okay, trying to run them down. He's not too afraid. He does have that BKB now. Slaughter jumped in, but he gets done immediately. The reality rip pull in, and he just melts in a matter of seconds. You see the three Phantasms are out. The Requiem of Souls, he gets it off, but it's just too late. 
He dies right after the follow-up damage again. It's not really the greatest. A lot of bounces from the Omni Slash, a lot of illusions to bounce to. Mitigating plenty of damage, another reality rift pull in. It's it's almost like we got a, a mini pudge here of sorts, just pulling everyone in. Oh, with that said, he does have the axe. He does have a gem now he just purchased on the Night Stalker, that is, so. Yeah, maybe they can make the... Uh... I mean, he's pretty tanky, though. Like, <laughs> that's true. 1,200 HP and Solar Crest is, uh, is, like, it's not easy to kill him at all. Like, kind of attempt right there, but not really. It's just a quick stun and then fall back. Yeah. From Slaughter. If they had, like, Blink BKB Black Hole on Enigma, there is very little chance of... But he went Greaves and went, and went into a Midas afterwards. I wonder if he's going to get cooldown reduction or cheap. Cooldown reduction just seems like overall one of the best talents to get in like any hero. It so, is, but he hasn't used Black Hole like a four once. It's true. So it does also affect items though, and I think that's why one yeah. of the reasons that makes it so good. Oh, I, I mean, I'm I'm totally on board. Yeah. However, this game they're, they're not really fighting that much. True. So I think. Like, if he has Blink BKB, he can't actually get off the Black Holes. I don't know. It's cooldown reduction, I would say. You can never really go wrong with Blink Exactly. Reduction. I'm never going to say that's a bad decision. But it's, neither one's going to be a bad decision. Yeah, neither one's going to be a bad decision. It's safe to say. Oh, we got, oh my <laughs> well, God. Rubik no longer exists right now. Uh, mega kill streak for MP, and this tower push is going to be pretty easy. Again, Enigma Black Hole is a threat here, so they want to be careful about committing to a fight. They have to do something, though. Nice silence. Oh, well, maybe not. I mean, maybe they are comfortable enough to say, you know what, you're gonna have one of our racks that's inevitably gonna happen. Now they want to kind of fight right here. The stun initiation on the Chaos Knight. Illusions are still up though, and the melee racks is gonna be dropping right here, most likely. There goes a BKB pop, jumps onto the Shadow Fiend, and once again just melts. He doesn't have his own BKB. He buys back immediately though, and the BKB is coming up in 10 seconds. Darkness has fallen now. The chase out, the crush gonna miss right there. He actually went in, but he got stopped with the blink dagger, I believe. And thus the crush was not able to connect. Chaos Knight thrown in the air, but again, he has the Aegis, so worst case he dies right here. He's coming right back up anyways. Not necessarily that big of a deal. Garner bouncing around with the army touch. There's the black hole going off. It's not gonna be stopped. The counter black hole actually from Insania coming out though, so maybe give them a shot. In comes the Rocky with Souls. And down goes actually Chaos Knight. He's gonna come back up though, as mentioned. Garner will tear through the Ember Spirit. And now Chaos Knight all of a sudden he is in a pretty vulnerable spot. He may have fallen right here. As a spin on top of it, going for the perhaps turn kill. The, the bolt comes out, the illuminate through. Not going to be enough, and down goes Chaos Knight. All right. Oh, man. I'm going to have to play pretty cautiously. They give the other team a little bit of hope, is essentially what you're getting out there. And yeah, that's so pro Dota. They have a reason to continue on and continue to play here. In fact, a pick off on the Chaos Knight once again would be more than enough of another reason, but yeah, there's a Phantasm. And with that BKB. Just goes in on to Slaughter, and that's a quick kill as a result. The reality is pulling Coddle, meanwhile. He's going to run away, though, with a blinding light pushback, because it has that support coming in. They know this, but they cannot get away in time. Down goes the yeah, There's another kill on to the Night Stalker, and the Requiem of Souls not going to be nearly enough. It will mitigate their damage a little bit, but it's still going to fall, so triple kill yeah. for MP. Shadow Fiend seems so useless. I don't know what yeah. would have been a better pick than Shadow Fiend. You're right, yeah. It's like... My eyes. No, I, I don't so think that I, is either, yeah. It's just, it's just weird that he just ended up being so useless. Same with the slaughter. Like, I've never seen a slaughter with a blink be like, that's not going to, like, it's, it's just it's nothing. It doesn't do anything for this team, which is weird. Yeah. Because usually it's like, oh my god, slaughter has blink. But this game, this is Whatever. The follow-up wasn't there. I mean, that early game did start to get a little bit out of control, and I think it's just, we're just also seeing that. The scaling is just so much better at this point. I mean, look at that. The Omni Slash just did so nothing, Omni. basically. <laughs> Might as well not even use it. They obviously hurt him more than helped him in that case. And this is going to be another melee racks, and I think this is the beginning of the end now for Team Secret. Yep. Again, as I like to say, taking care of business, as they no doubt were the favorites here. Going to take the game off of Pro Dota Gaming. So, I mean, PD, though, this is a team, again, they qualified out of the open qualifiers, and you're facing one of the favorites here in Team Secret right off the bat. They uh, they gave a little bit of justification as to maybe why their team to, to look out for somewhat. but Their team play was not bad at all in the mid game. I just think you have to take Keeper first over Sardar in 100% of cases. Even if you don't have a Keeper player, I still think he's favorite. <laughs> like, it's, the hero is just too, too... If you don't have a Keeper player, then you can. I think it's the other point. Take it away as an option, perhaps. But yeah, that's going to be a GG well played being called, and it's official. Team Secret will start 1-0 here in the group stages. So again, doing their job.
and uh, taking the victory over Pro Dota. But again, a lot of matches to play, so don't look too much into this over these next couple of days right here, but uh, still a strong start for Secret. So, final thoughts on the game before we move on here? It worked out really well. 